want to say happy holidays and thank you so much for being here at HSN. My name is Marlo Smith and we are going to continue with our semi-annual clearance. This hour, it's all about great products in the kitchen. And if you want to buy anything in this hour, we can guarantee delivery by Christmas. Here's the thing. There's a $12 upcharge. I know, I know, but we're so close to Christmas. But there's $12 plus our standard delivery rates. But if you see something that you really, really, really want to have guaranteed delivery by Christmas, you can do that. So I just wanna mention that to you, okay? Okay, we're gonna begin with something that I think is great. Kitchen HQ is our proprietary brand that we offer to you here at HSN. And we're starting off with a two quart digital pressure cooker. Here's what you need to know about this. It's a pressure cooker. It's a slow cooker. You can cook brown rice. You can do all of your soups, your stews, your chilies. It's $29.98. It's the ideal size for one or two people. Most families are a family of two. And it's at a price that's almost half off, not quite, but almost, it's 40% off. It's on two credit card payments of $14.99. If you'd love to try pressure cooking, or if you even have a gigantic pressure cooker, but you don't mm -hmm. use it as often as you'd like, buy this one. Here are your <laughs> colors. Black, blue, red, taupe, teal, and Carrie Maletto is joining us. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, can you believe this? This is I so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love this. You know, I just, at my, forgive me, I'm gonna get in with my hands. You know, at my house the other day, I just had mine out. I was making, um, you know, I have an Italian background on one side, hence the mulatto, but on the other side is German. And so on my German side, we like to make kabasi um, with sauerkraut and the potatoes and all of that sort of thing, and the cabbage. So I wanted to make that, and so I have, I have two pressure cookers, okay? <laughs> so I have my nice big one, that's the six quarts, but then I also have this one. And the reason why I love having both is because in that scenario, I was able to make the larger portion with the cabbage and the sauerkraut and the kibasi and the smoked sausage in the bigger one. And then I made my potatoes, which I like to put beside it, in this one, because this actually held two pounds of potatoes in here, even though this is my two quarts. So if you already have a pressure cooker, but it's a nice large one, Eight, and four, you keep ten, it in the four. garage. And it, it's hard, you're <laughs> lobbing it out all the time. But you're like, gosh, I just need something for when I want to do a side dish or I want to do something yeah, small you, for you just me and my You need something for every day. This is the every day. Yeah, I do have a larger, I have an eight quart um, pressure cooker at home. But I have to keep mine in my garage because I don't have a, a large kitchen. It's hard to keep it out on the counter, and exactly. with the size of this, the scale of this, this is so perfect for not only every day, but even a couple of times a week. So let's talk about why we love pressure cookers. Oh my gosh. We love pressure cookers primarily for two reasons. Number one, they cook your foods in a third of amount of time. That's right. A third faster. You're looking at some of the cooking times. Asparagus in one to two minutes. Fresh, fresh green beans in two to three minutes. Corn of the cob, two to four minutes. Brown rice, 12 to 15 minutes. Pork chops. So, I mean, cooking your foods faster. Here's the primary reason why you love your pressure cookers. Not only do they lock in the flavor, that's what chefs will tell you, mm -hmm. but the pressure not only naturally will tenderize your meats, even the toughest cuts of meats, mm -hmm. but it leaves them deliciously moist. That's true. So if you've never tried a pressure cooker, maybe you've watched, you say, you know what? I'd really like to have one, $29.98? Or two credit card payments of $14.99. I would buy this one. Over 40% off. Yum! Okay, so this is the time of year I just left Atlanta. I mean, it is warming up a little bit for Christmas, but it's been pretty cold. And I'll tell you what, all it really makes me want is comfort food galore. So being able to do your pasta right in here, uh, this is actually six minutes. You just put two, two, two. So remember, two, two, two. Two cups of broth. I did chicken broth. Two cups of pasta and two uh, cups of cream. So that's two, 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 so always remember that. And then I'm gonna add my cheese right after that six minutes, I open this up. Now, once this is done, it'll go to a keep warm function. Okay. And that keep warm function lasts for eight hours. So if you were to say, 
fix this, you know, hubby's on the way home and you say, okay, let me throw something in there and I want to go ahead and just clean the living room or go make a phone call or do whatever. I love that you don't have to babysit a pressure cooker. It does everything inside. You literally just press a button, get it started. Now, this is a pretty decent sized bowl, right? Look at all that cheese. That's oh a God. lot. You know, that's a and lot. And look how much is still left inside. So I love just showing, because sometimes I think people go, how much am I really going to get with, with two quarts? A lot. That's it's a really lot. It's really great. And you don't have to worry about a ton of leftovers yeah. when you're done. I agree. I want to show you here very simply how easy this is to use. So it's only six pounds. So notice that I can lift it up really easy here. So if you want to take this to the party, if you want to take this to your friend's house, if you want to take this and move it around the kitchen, it's not large like that eight, 10 yeah. quart, 12 quart, all that. I want this. I know, right? Isn't it great? Okay, so here, look how easy the buttons are. So over here is just your menu, right? So when I press the menu, we're going to follow through. You have your, so let's start here. Do, 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 do. Oh, let me do my off off. Here we go. Menu. Okay. So we have a pressure high, pressure low. We have our keep warm function. See how it says eight hours. Then we have our slow cook. So this is a slow cooker as well. If you have a slow cooker, you can get rid of that and have just this. Browning is very important. Browning is going to sear your meats. And I would highly suggest for your thawed meats that you do a little sear before you put them into the pressure cooking mode. That's going to caramelize them a little bit and get that nice browning going on the outside. Chilies and stews, eggs, Perfect eggs in six minutes. See how it already says six minutes? And your rice. There is no better rice than a pressure cooker rice. And all you would do is choose your time and then just hit adjust to go and start. That's it. That's all you have to do. And that is why I love pressure cooking. So if you love this color, we're calling it blue, but you can see it's more of a purplish blue. Um, so so um, since Kiri was using this, I wanted to point that out to you. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many reasons why I love this. You know, um, I purchased my pressure cooker from right here at HSN, and I think I paid a little over $100 for mine. Sure. Okay? Sure. It's larger. It's an eight quart. But the point I wanted to make with that is, you know, for if you're just testing the waters in a pressure cooker, you're like, well, I don't want to pay over $100 for it. I don't know how often I'm going to use it. I don't know if I'll love it. Perfect. I love the price point. Yeah. For, for that. The other big part about it is the size. Two quarts, you'd be surprised how much food you can cook in a two quart. And one of the things that people do say to us about the eight quarts and the 10 quarts is that a lot of you have families of two. You're not cooking for a whole lot of people. You're not making those oversized meals mm -hmm. um, a couple of times during the week. The scale and the size of this is so practical, so it makes it great. So, I mean, halfway, and look at how many of these you're gonna be. <laughs> I know. So I, I think about your oatmeal. I think about the rice that you're doing mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. um, I think about any dips that you're making. When I saw this, I'm thinking, you know what? Imagine your delicious artichoke dip in this. That would be perfect. And that's yeah. the idea here is with these meatballs, it's about appetizers and parties. Please notice that the lid actually sits on top. So I can open this, and that's one thing about pressure cookers is literally you have no place to put your lid. So you take it off and water's going everywhere, right? So with this, it actually sits on top when you want it to, and then if you want it to completely come off, you can actually also oh take gosh. it completely off. Now the ring is the one thing inside that you just want to clean. So your ring, you can just pops right out, very, very easy. And on top, you actually have your pressure regulator uh, right here. So this, you'll turn to pressure when you're pressure cooking, and you turn to steam when you're using your slow cooking function or to do your quick release. The valves are something that's already built in so that as opposed to maybe if you remember back in the day when grandma used to make uh, things on the stove, that was a whole nother way of pressure yeah. cooking. That's no more. Now you're actually getting a very easy, safe, with all kinds of safety measures, way to infuse flavor into your food. So I have been using my pressure cooker like a crazy person this holiday season. It's really helped me get side dishes done faster. You're cooking in 66 percent uh, less time, sure. uh, which is incredible. This is just a cider. So this time of year, how nice to make a nice warm cider. January gets the coldest for most of us, everybody. So guess what? If you have this at your house and you're able to make a nice, delicious warm cider in a jiffy, this really melds the flavors. The thing about pressure cooking is it's actually taking water or liquid, if you're using a broth or something like that, it turns it into steam. The steam is trapped, and when steam is trapped, it then infuses right back into the food that is inside the cooker. So if that's your meats, if that's your broths, if that's your, um, gosh, it could be, we're actually going to show you a cake if we have enough time here. Ooh. So, I mean, so you can bake with this, you can saute with this, you can, there's so 
much you can do. All right, so if you love this color that Carrie was working out of with the cider, that's gonna be the teal color. And if I can just have your attention really quickly, right in front, you're getting all of these accessories so that you're gonna get that little uh, basket insert, you're going to get a measure cup, and you also are going to get a spoon. And you're also going to get um, this booklet. There are going to be 11 recipes 11. in the inside. And what's great about this as well is that it teaches you every single step. Pressure cooking is easy. Um, if you've not tried it, you really will love it. I would buy this. It's $20 off. It's $29.98. It's the perfect size for getting your feet wet. Yeah. It's the perfect size for the family of one or the family of two, which is most of America, <laughs> believe it or not. It really is. I, I don't know what the rules are for dorms, but if your son or daughter or your grandson or your granddaughter can have something like this, this is so awesome for them. Mm -hmm. Even for their ramen noodles, right? <laughs> and we know a lot of college students, Oh, right? you can take it to another level with this. This it's is so like great for them. Second day stew. I want to just chat about that really quick. This is our turkey chili done in 15 minutes. I want you to think about whenever you make a soup or a stew, it never tastes as good as the second day. Am I right? Because it has that time to meld and infuse with flavors. This type of way of cooking is going to do that immediately in 15 minutes. So I did a Hungarian goulash in here that was absolutely perfect in 15 minutes. That is impossible to do in a regular pot or pan. Cakes, I actually took a cake box batter. This is 30 minutes, okay? Notice how perfectly shaped that is, by the way. I'm gonna take my caramel sauce right across. Now, we have many different reasons to have holidays and celebrations throughout the year. Right now it's Christmas, right, and, and New Year's. But before you know it, it's gonna be Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then it's going to be, you know, gosh goodness, March, you know, uh, July. I mean, there's so many holidays throughout the year. Many, many different reasons to make cakes. Look how easy I was able just to take some fruit. That's so pretty. Take some whip, pop this on top. And I'm going very quickly because I wanna try to show you everything. And that looks like a cake I would have spent a lot of money for at a bakery that I could do in 15 to 30 minutes with my pressure cooker. There is one thing I wanna add um, that you may not know about the benefits of using a pressure cooker is that we've all done it, right? You left the house, you forgot to take out something to defrost to cook for dinner. Mm. One of the wonderful reasons why you want a pressure cooker is that you can put frozen foods yes. for frozen foods right in there. Remember, it cooks your foods a third of the time faster. So if that moment has ever happened to you, you never have to worry about it. Right out of the freezer, you put it in the inside. For this time of year to be able to get those wonderful comfort foods, pot your pot roast, your oh. stews, your chilies, keeping them nice and hot. Remember, it's a pressure cooker, it's a slow cooker. It will do any type of rice. It'll do all of your oatmeal. It, it can even, by the way, cook perfect eggs for you. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and even desserts. If you'd like to order $29.98, look at how fabulous this red color is. By the way, we also have black. So a lot of different colors, black, <laughs> blue, red, taupe, teal, are the color choices. And on that note, we've got to wrap up our presentation. I but knew it was gonna be fast, but <laughs> we made a lot of food, actually, in just a few moments. You so. did a great job. Thank and you. you. You almost got, almost that did them all. That was my pho or my pho, which is kind of like, you know, bringing culture in. So things yes. that, again, things that seem Oh, we, you know, we can oh, show it. He said, show it? Okay, great, let's do it. It's ready, let's do this. So again, things like pho, oh. you go to places to do this. If you know, It's kind of a fancy night out. Well, you can make a fancy night out at home with all the flavor because of that infusion. All right, thank you so very much. Very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for shopping. Don't forget that once you've spent $75 today during a big clearance event, free shipping and handling Yay! for the rest of the day. And enjoy our special promotion where you'll get $20 off if you are approved for our HSN card. And most people that apply are actually approved, Miss Marion Getz. <laughs> well, I don't have to ask Marion Getz if she's been naughty or nice because she's always so super nice. Marion Getz happens to be Wolfgang Puck's right-hand gal. How you doing, girlfriend? I'm so good. The last time I saw you, you were doing an incredible job on that Today's Special. Uh, you it was had a your t-shirt. I survived. <laughs> <laughs> So Marianne Getz is an amazing pastry chef, but she's also been working with Wolfgang Puck, gosh, for nearly 20 years. Mm -hmm. And we are featuring for you um, the Wolfgang Puck Plasma Elite Nonstick 8-inch Skillet.
So now this is interesting, right, Miriam? Because you know Wolfgang Puck is one of the most famous chefs on the planet. Global restaurants, world-renowned restaurants like Spago's and Cut. He typically presents to us stainless steel cookware. This is non-stick. What's the story here? You know, it's, it took so long for him to agree to do this because of that, because we'd always use the stainless in the restaurant, and that's what he knew stood up to whatever was thrown at it, because restaurants are pretty busy places. But his wife said, I can't eat that, honey, when you put the oil in the pan, because to use stainless, you have to add some oil or some sort of fat to make the food not stick. And um, he noticed that his wife would get up and make a salad. If he put some oil in the pan, she said, you know, I know you're the energizer bunny. You can eat that way, but I can't. And so he said, you know what? I've got to find another way. And so he looked and he looked and he found something called plasma. And it's a totally different technology so that if you want to make an egg like this, you don't have to add oil. Of course, you can add it for flavor, but you don't have to add it to make the food slide around. So it is applied with a laser, Marlo. It is done in a fashion where it is hotter than the surface of the sun, it is crazy. But the base of it is Wolfgang's stainless steel pans, the beautiful pans that he's done. Then it's applied in three more layers on top of that. So it has this sort of a textured finish. What's so cool about that is it's gonna make it last about seven times longer than your traditional um, nonstick pans that you've had. And Wolfgang believes in it so much, Marlo, that he is giving a lifetime warranty with this. You know, think about just that. If a chef is willing to say, hmm, I like my pans so much and I believe in them enough, even though they're nonstick, that I'm giving you a, a lifetime warranty, that's really all I need to know. And for me, January 1, when we're trying to be more helpful, this is the way, oh, right? Get this at home at this kind of price. It's crazy as a try me. So I want to mention to you that this is $19.95. It's 40% off. Um, it's your 8-inch skillet. It is PFOA free. What does that mean? Just less plastics used. Um, PFOA free actually means no plastic mm -hmm. synthetics in, in the nonstick, which is very important. Right. It's also metal utensil safe. I know that Marion mentioned it, but I think it's important to remind you that the nonstick on this cookware lasts seven times longer than other nonstick that it's been tested against. That's what makes it metal utensil safe. It's also oven safe to 400 degrees. So maybe you want to start something on top of the stove and you want to put it in the oven to brown. You'll be able to do this. Marion also talked about that it has stainless steel underneath. So if you already own Wolfgang Puck's stainless steel um, cookware, mm -hmm. this is going to be a beautiful complement to all of the other cookware that you currently already have, because it's gorgeous. Look, I want you to see it, guys. It's and really beautiful. And still that tri-ply bottom, so you have that perfect heating. I love that he did that, Marlo, that he, stu he started with what he already had and was so proud of, and just plussed up on it for us. For those of us that struggle with our weight and could use less fat in our food, I'm so proud of him for making this. If, you've, if you'd like to order, uh, don't miss out. Special clearance price. Look at the feature there. Super slick. Nonstick. If you have nonstick, and we all have purchased nonstick that we were dissatisfied with, try, of course, Fame Chef Wolfgang Pucks. You saw that impact um, bonded bottom mm -hmm. there? And there we have, works with all stovetops. That's a really great point oh as well, gosh, yes. you know? I mentioned that it was oven safe to 400 degrees, dishwasher safe, metal utensil safe, limited lifetime warranty. We would love to hear from you. This is a perfect try me um, for you, um, but you're right. If you said you're going to kick off the new year with adding fewer calories from fats, oils, and butters, mm -hmm. and they all add up. You know, when you're doing adding all of the olive oil, I mean, it's all of it has calories. Makes the food taste good, and there's nothing wrong with adding a little bit of flavor. You've gotta live a little, but just to be able to reduce it just by a small amount, you could see a significant difference. I agree, and you know, I'm 5'1", so there's just nowhere to, to hide any extra pounds. I've always struggled with my weight, but one of the things that has really helped me the most is I've promised myself I'm not gonna make foods that I need to add a bunch of oil with, and here's why. I'm not honest with myself about how much oil it is. I put a little bit in, and I go, oh, it could use a little more, so I add some more. I know so many of you know what I'm talking about if you cook in traditional um, stainless steel pans, 
And for me, that has been that change, Marlo. Using these pans I, on something even like a beaten egg with no fat, you don't need to. You don't need to add any of it. You could add it later for flavor if you can afford the calories. But when a pan releases that beautifully on something like an egg, which is notorious for sticking, yes. imagine all the things that are gonna, you're going to be able to do with it and do so easily. Um, I'm gonna turn this on. This is nice, this is Wolfgang. Yeah, it is, and this is milk. Milk is n notorious for burning as well. So I'm gonna let that burn and I'll show you that it peels out about like that. Because you know what? When you do get busy and you forget, that's what happens. But this is cheese. So I wanna show you that you can melt cheese in here, get it all nice and brown, and make sort of an inside out um, grilled cheese sandwich. Now this is provolone, it has quite a bit of oil naturally in it. I'm gonna soak some of that up. But watch, it just mops up. It's kind of stuck for a second. And look. Oh, yeah. So you can just literally make almost like an inside-out grilled cheese sandwich. And for some strange reason, it looks good to me. <laughs> oh, it is so good, right? <laughs> I, I want to let you know that there are some really nice reviews on this skillet on our website. Some perfect five-star reviews. Um, here's one from New York. Someone wrote and gave it a perfect five star. This skillet is a pleasure to use and I recommend it highly. It cooks evenly and cleanup is a breeze. Another person wrote from Arizona, a beautiful pan, heavy and works like a dream. Someone wrote from Tennessee and gave it another perfect five star review. I'm so glad I ordered this skillet. It is just what I needed. It makes great eggs and omelets, no stick and easy cleanup. And most of these people I imagine paid more for it. I believe um, this is one of the first times that we've ever offered it at this discounted price. So manufacturer's limited lifetime warranty, works on any stovetop, oven safe to 400 degrees, metal utensil safe, dishwasher safe. Um, every review um, on our website, four and five stars on this pan. It's the perfect accompaniment. Even chefs, Absolutely. they... they no matter, they will tell you, they have every type of cookware virtually in their homes. There is a place for nonstick, and I think you've explained it so beautifully, and you certainly have demonstrated it so great here. And you know what, think about the warranty that Wolfgang is willing to stand behind his pans and say, you know what, if I can use these in my restaurant, if I can use these at home, and I can beat them up and have them survive so long, I'm giving you a warranty that's for life. That's really all I need to hear, and it's really exciting. I'm proud of him for making these. All right, what are we looking at here? So this is just some provolone cheese, and the one that just mops up, so literally it looks like it's stuck, see? But it's not, it just slides around. As soon as you That's start to awesome. move it, and it's cheese with zero fat added. It's a superior nonstick. And even when you burn something like um, milk or whatever foods do, it just peels out in one oh sheet. Oh my look. gosh. That's really impressive. It's cool, right? Yeah. I hope that you try it. Um, let us send it to you. It's item number 668118. And when we come back, Mary is going to stick around and we're going to be offering to you a great value on an immersion blender that can do almost anything. So stay tuned. We understand every woman's skin is unique. We offer real beauty solutions for individual needs of real women, empowering women to achieve healthy, radiant looking skin. Backed by over 30 years experience, made from important ingredients combined with advanced science for affordable skincare that truly works. Change the story of your skin and your life forever. Genuine beauty begins with skin. I found it in Peru, China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day is a new adventure. We go right to the mines. You can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening a Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it. remote controls are the same? Think again. Now when you're watching HSN and you see something you want, you can use your remote control to order it. It's fast, it's easy, and it's a safe way to order. With HSN, shop by remote. We're partnering with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital so that families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food. This holiday season marks HSN's 10th annual HSN Cares Designer Ornament Collection, including more than 20 exclusive ornaments designed by some of your favorite HSN guests. 
With the purchase of every ornament, HSN Cares will donate $5 to St. Jude because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. We're making bigger, even better with our Super Size Values, and they're available only at HSN. Super Size Values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size and may not reflect a price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1-800-284-3900. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. I know Hanukkah's starting really soon and uh, tonight. Wow. Yay! So Happy Hanukkah to those of you that, are, that will be celebrating Hanukkah and Merry Christmas. To those of you that will be selling Christmas, celebrating Christmas. And we've got, we've got Kwanzaa coming up right after that. And guess who has a birthday coming up too? Me! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy so birthday. Thank you, my love. Um, this is Marion Getz. Marion is so amazing. Like, she's so talented. Marion is a pastry chef, and she is so, ta I want you to think about her story. She is so talented that Wolfgang Puck selected her to be his right hand gal and has selected her mm. as one of his pastry chefs. Now, you know you've got to be really amazing to do that. So Thank we're so you, honored Marta. to have Thank you here. You. We really are. We are, Marion is, is filling in for Wolfgang Puck, and we're going to be offering you the 7-in-1 Immersion Blender with the 12-cup food processor. So what can this do? By the way, you're looking at all the accessories that it comes along with, and I'll take you through everything, but I want you to see this book really quickly. And this book is available. Marion created it. For us, her books are all a customer pick, but I think at a glance, it gives you a really good idea of what an immersion blender and food processor will do. You can mash, imagine making baby food, chop, you can dice, you can emulsify, you can puree, you can shred, you can slice, you can knead, and you can do even more. So that just gives it to you in a little bit of a snapshot um, if you would like to have the book, it comes with, I believe, how many recipes? 80. 82. 80. Mm -hmm. I, I knew it was 80 something. It's so funny. I do all my homework. I don't know why I remember things. Look at that. <laughs> I said 82. Look at you. I know. I, I think it's the experience over the years. Probably. I can read something one time. Yeah, it's really, but anyway. Incredible. 80. Yeah. But. Why do you love this, right? Because when we think about the prep in the kitchen, when people say, well, I don't like to cook. It's really not the cooking, it's all the work, the prep it that is. goes into it. It is, even for chefs, I'm telling you, when there's only so much time in the end of the day and you're trying to cram all the fun things into your life, the prep can stop you in your tracks. Even if you're really great with a knife, even if you're really organized, but something that can take a bunch of the prep away and make it in seconds. When it can slice this fast, no chef with a knife could chop that fast or that well or shred that nicely. So when you have a machine that doesn't complain and that just does a beautiful job for you, and does a whole variety of tasks, it lets you get a meal on the table really quickly and lets you say yes to a meal that maybe you would normally say, oh, okay, we're gonna eat out or we're gonna order pizza or all the other things that we do when we're really busy. But I love this immersion blender. It started its life as just an immersion, which is just the part with the wand that looks like this. But the same motor goes on to many different things with this guy. So you can just twist that motor on and then watch, with, I've got the slicing blade in. And so just as fast as you can push the button and get that um, little stopper up there, it slices them so quickly. So imagine if you were making scallop potatoes. That it's, is fast. I know, That's like it's, it's so fast. 400, 400 watts of power mm -hmm. on this one. And uh, th that's amazing. The bowl that you're seeing is a 12 cup a food processor bowl with the handle. And I don't know if you had a chance to glance at the price, but this is $59.95. Wow. That's a that's an amazing price for this. If you've ever priced just an immersion blender, just just the wand, those could sell for $99 alone. I'm sure you've sold them. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> I know I have. Oh yeah, sorry. About so that. the blue is sold out. We have black, red, and white. Okay, so just so that you know. Um, a lot of people buy immersion blenders to make their soups and to make baby food, mm -hmm. smoothies. Yes. 
Yes. Because um, the motor's on the bottom with the, with the little blade, um, like what a blender would have. But what's so cool about this kind of blending is you take it to the food instead of the yes. food coming to the carafe of the blender. So if you are taking care of your aging parents, if you have a new baby or a, gra a precious grandbaby, and you just want them to eat better than you did, and you know, so many of us grew up with baby food that came in a can or canned peas. Look at the difference, Marlo, just in color. No wonder they spit it out. It's so gross when it's been canned. All the life is out of it. It just does not have, not have a nice taste. But with this, you can use the same peas that you're using for your family, a little bit of water, and then just blend them right in this carafe. This uh, beaker comes with it. And so this is on the turbo setting. It does have another setting where you can dial the power that you want, but it has so much power. When you get to the bottom, you can literally just pick up the, the whole carafe with it. So if you look up at the top, I'm on turbo. But here's another button here where you can dial the power that you want from a really low speed to a kind of a medium. So it's a lot less, but then pe the turbo one is right here. That's so nice. You wanna make your own salad dressings? That's so perfect and easy to use. I feel like with something like this, in many cases, it's easier to make a smoothie with the immersion blender than with many of the blenders that you have at home. Certainly less to clean up. Way less to clean, and all that <laughs> matters, right? So it's great to have things in your kitchen that can do more than one thing that are not that's not a unitasker, but I love that Wolfgang's got a really heavy motor, 400 watts, that does the powering of all the different tools that come with it, and it's easy to use. Y yes, this is the small chopper bowl. This is an additional purchase, but I love this because I make a lot of sauces and dressings and salsa always, always fresh. It doesn't taste good if you um, make it like yesterday because the onions get too strong, but you can prep it in it, put it in the fridge, and then just buzz it at the last second. And I, I like to use a pulse function so that it doesn't get too small. But you know how you like yours. If you like it really smooth, you can go all the way down till it's pureed. That Ooh, looks that's about perfect. right to me. Yeah. And by the way, if you'd like to have this additional bowl, it's $11.95. And the item number is 649-018. And we got the big bowl game coming up in just a little over a month, right? Can you imagine? I think the salsa is one of the number one, if not the number one condiment. Mm -hmm. And no matter what brand name you buy in the supermarkets, it's never better than making it yourself and making it fresh. Plus you have, of course, the warm fuzzies in the inside for, you know, making it yourself. I think there's a, there's a wonderful feeling that comes along with, you know, making things from scratch. I think so, especially yeah. if they don't take too long, right? If it's not too long on the prep, then I think it's worth yeah. it. And it's really all about having those perfect tools to make you successful. And they don't have to cost a lot, and in this case, it's clearance. Um, it's, it's, I think, over 40% off, or maybe even 50% off here. So, and it's $20, $59.95, it's $40 off. Wow. Um, I don't know if you've priced food processors lately. lately. Not only is it a food processor, but it's also an immersion wand or an immersion blender. So it's, it's a super multitasker with this. I invite you to order. Black, red, and white are your choices. Um, you spend more than $75 today or, and you get free shipping and handling. So cheese is a big one, right? Most of us cheat it. You got something there? Um, just some peas. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, most of us buy cheese that's pre-shredded. And if you love the taste of, say, pizza in your favorite restaurant, but not so much at home, in a great restaurant, they would never buy pre-shredded cheeses because they have to coat them with starches and things like that that make it not melt as well, and it certainly doesn't taste as nice. But when you have a machine that can uh, process something really quickly, where it shreds it nicely, then it's not so bad. And then all the dirty parts go in the dishwasher. So it is a very doable thing. You can do a couple of blocks at a time. And this is a really soft cheddar, but it doesn't mind at all. Even the soft, real bendy ones like this, it's not a problem for this guy. Because it's got the right kind of motor attached to the, this is a 12 cup processor. Cool. So to get into it, you're just gonna take off the motor, and then there's a little toggle here on the handle. Just pull that over, and then you lift off the blade so it looks like this. Perfect. And there's your stem. 
and now you've got enough cheese for a week. You can put it in a container yeah. and top all of your different foods. But it's nice to have real food where you know everything that's in it. And if you're the kind of person that worries about what ingredients are in, it's so great to cook at home. But not if it takes all day. There's so much of our um, day that's really busy and it's if you have something that buys back time, you'll go to it again and again. You know, you, you have to, there's so much to learn about food and um, what keeps food shelf stable for a long time. Cheese is one of those things. Yes, it's convenient mm -hmm. to buy the shredded cheese, but when you learn all the extra stuff that they add to keep it shelf stable, it makes you want to buy something like this and shred your own cheese, right? That way you know you're getting the purest. So this is another fun thing that you're gonna be able to do with this. It comes with a whisk. It does. So this is that balloon whisk attached to the motor and I've, I'm using the beaker that also comes with it. And we're making like a keto friendly mousse that's really quick. So if you want to entertain, but you don't want it to be too hard or take too long, something like this is fantastic. A little bit of a fruit, fruit puree. It doesn't have any added sugar. And it is already a beautiful stiff peaks and it's so quick to do. So that kind of a last minute dessert thing and everybody will love it. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Many of you are gonna be on your, your special program, whether you're doing keto or paleo, or you're going vegan or vegetarian, or you just wanna cut back. You know, you just wanna make better and healthier decisions in the new year. This could really support you with whatever, um, whatever program that you wanna start in the new year. But it's also kind of a, a fun way. You know, everybody's at a different place in learning. Um, and getting more experience in the kitchen. I know most of you are expert cooks, but there, think about some of the young people that are really learning how to cook. I have a friend, um, she's she's older, but she's she's not a great cook and she's really trying to experiment. I love this as a gift because um, you you can do so much with this. Um, we were talking about chopping and dicing and mashing and kneading and slicing and shredding. You can also puree with this, which is amazing. And I love that with this, you can puree, and you wanna start slow, so that's why I'm kinda of pulsing it, because you don't wanna make something splash. But what I love, Marlo, is that instead of taking batch after batch to the blender, you're taking the blender rod to the pot, so it's more efficient, it lets you get it done quickly, and then there's less cleanup. You were gonna have to wash the pot anyway, but you're not stuck washing a big blender carafe. Um, along with it, but it'll do all kinds of things, not just um, in, in the soup area, but all kinds of fruit sauces. This is the kind of thing in the restaurant, we affectionately call this the boat motor, and the um, immersion blending rod is actually almost as tall as I am. But it's one of those things that is just used again and again because it's so efficient, because it does a beautiful job, and you take it to the food. So it's a great way to do it. And if anything is available in a restaurant and Wolfgang makes a size for it that's suitable for home, jump on board because he's gonna make you something that saves time and makes it more pleasurable to be in the kitchen. He's really famous for that. And I think he's really successful because he's a dad and because he cooks all the time at home. Yeah. And that's really his secret, I think. Yeah, but he'll be the first to tell you it's really about the reason why he likes to come here at HSN is that he, it's really, it's his passion to teach. Mm -hmm. He really has a passion for teaching. And um, yes, he is super talented and amazingly incredible, but he really believes that we can be great cooks too. Um, fundamentally though, you have to have the right tools. And this is so perfect for you to be able to pick up. Lowest price we've ever offered, big clearance that we're happening that's happening today, $59.95. sous vide machine that's coming up and it's really quick to do. You can actually buy them that way too. But that way it's been cooked but at a low enough temperature that it doesn't affect how it, it um, looks or operates or certainly how it thickens a mayonnaise in this case. But you know exactly what ingredients are in here. You can make it in just a few second, seconds. And you know what, it's fresh. The stuff in the jar, I'm not really sure why it can sit on the shelf for a few years. But it, it can do shredding, it can do slicing, dicing. This is the masher, we haven't even shown you this. I would pay this price just to have that. To make a morning smoothie, Marlo, amazing with the blending rod, and that's the beaker that comes with it. And there's the oversized balloon whisk. You can use that for all kinds of quick, quick little 
whipped cream, things like that, but look at all the myriad of things that it can do. That's that time saver. Usually you have to have this monstrosity of a mm -hmm. food processor to be able to do all these things. I like the practical scale of this. Um, for you to be able to use it multiple times during the week. If you're looking for some great ideas, Marion has put together a wonderful cookbook for us, so you might want to pick this up. It's also on clearance. There are 82 recipes in the inside of this. And I love pairing the two together. Um, so pick the book up, choose your color. We do have red, black, and white. The blue that Marion is working out of, unfortunately, is already sold out. Um, but we do have the other three colors remaining, and with just seconds remaining, we're oh going to show you just two more demos. Okay, let me show you the dicing, because I've got the dicing blade, and that thing is really expensive to make. Wolfgang said, I know it's hard for people, so let me make something that does it for you, and watch. It's so cool. No, oh, that is cool. <laughs> But just that fast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wolfgang said he, he made two cucumbers worth and he asked me, he says, how long would it, would it take you to dice that for me? I said, well, first I'd have to cry because I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> no, I mean, that would, that would take forever by hand. I and mean, then you'd have one big one, one little one, all right? Yep. <laughs> one medium sized one, you'd never be able to get them it's all perfect. So this is awesome what you're doing oh right now. Oh my gosh, I love this part. This is called the masher attachment. You can see it right here. And what it does is force the potato or anything that's soft, like avocado or another um, vegetable like that, it forces cooked foods through the little, um, kind of like a ricer. Yeah, so yeah. as you just push it, it goes right on through, and then you can stir in whatever the liquid is that's called for in your recipe. And we're gonna be wrapping up our presentation because we do need to show you more products. But if you would like to have the food processor and immersion blender, just let us know. We'll be happy to send it out to you. All right, you ready to go over? Yeah. Let's go together. Hey, don't forget to check out our clearance store. It's our big semi-annual clearance. Up to 50% off new markdowns. It's worth taking a look. You can shop home, jewelry, apparel. I'm telling you, uh, there are a lot of goodies there. A lot of goodies. I'm going to go home tonight and take a look myself. So Rocky, who is our producer, is saying we have right now 4,500 items on clearance. Wow. Wow. 4,500 products right now. And that's across like all departments, by the way. I'm telling you, there are a lot of great things. It's so nice to have you shopping with us. Um, happy holidays, everybody. So really wonderful. Um, I'm Marlo and this is Marian. And we're now going to talk about a compact clip sous vide. Um, I'm not sh sure if you know what sous vide is, um, but if you don't, this is an extraordinary way for you to be able to prepare your foods and make certain that you are not overcooking them or undercooking them ever. Um, whether it's your protein, like your lamb chops or your fish or your steaks or even your eggs and your vegetables, you can do almost anything. So sous vide translates to under vacuum in French. And today we get to offer to you a compact clip um, in your choice of red or black. Oh, I love the red mm -hmm. and this one. And this is really nice because most of the, the ones that I've seen before are larger. Yes. And harder to store, a little bit sure. harder to use. A little intimidating to oh, look yes. at, right? And I think, honestly, one of the things about sous vide, or cooking with an immersion circulator, as we call it in the restaurant, is that it's misnamed. Because under a vacuum, it used to be where all the foods that were cooked this way were sealed, um, you know, like a, with it using a sealer with the pouches where it takes out all of the air. But it really doesn't have to be that way. Here's what I think the best explanation of it is. It, this, this little guy is able to cook in a way that answers that age-old question, probably the most asked question in the kitchen, and that is, is it done yet? Where you worry and you say, oh my gosh, do I need to cut into it if it's in the case of meat? But th it does, it, it knows one thing, precision. You set exactly the temperature that you want. You're using water as the medium to transfer the heat around because it's a great conductor. The food is either in a bag like a zipper top bag or inside of a jar. And, and you then, can use any type of bag. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it does not have to be sealed at all. You're just gonna um, 
get as much of the air out as you can, but this is how you're going to use it. You just press the little on off guy here until it lights up and then you're gonna come to your menu and when your top is, is illuminating, you can scroll up or down in your temperature. So let's say I want it 125 degrees. Then I can go down here. This is the ambient temperature in the room. And then I'm gonna scroll till I can get this beeping. And then I'm gonna set my time here. Once I like the number of hours that I'm setting it for, I hit this again. And it has to be in water. So you see it wants to give me an error. So when I go into the water, it'll start to heat and start to, um, turn on and, and yeah, thank you. But it'll start to heat up that water and then as soon as it's at that temperature, it'll beep again, then you know to add your food. But here's the thing, once the food is in there, it can't overcook it. It's, you know how the slow cooker is so great and it can hold on to the food and it doesn't overcook it and it's really a, just a, a really forgiving way to cook? It's kind of like that, Marlo, but in a way better way. Well, notice what Marion is cooking in. Right? This is yeah. just, because I, I mean, when it's you It's a see, restaurant tub. Yeah. yeah. It's a tub. I think that's that's one of the reasons why we do love sous vide is that, yes, it, this works on any pot, but you can literally cook in any type of container that this clip can go over, which I think is really fascinating. Um, I was just watching a program. I, I think it was, I think it was one of the morning programs this yesterday morning. And there was a very famous chef, I won't mention his name, but he actually, uh, and if you guys watch the same program, um, then you probably saw this famous chef. And he was saying that he just wrote a book about sous vide ah, cooking. Ah. Um, and so, albeit it's trendy, they've been using it in restaurants forever. And um, it's just catch, kind of catching on to the home cooks, I think because they've been able to make a model that's affordable. But it's so perfect, if you're able to, really grasps what Marion has mentioned. Allowing you to be able to cook foods at the perfect temperature, right? Never worrying about, is it actually done? Never overcooking it or undercooking it. It's perfect every single time. And the way that happens is there's usually a guide that comes with it. And with that guide, it'll give you the exact temperature. So for fish, and this is just, for example, it may say, you want that temperature to be maybe 100 degrees, right? Yes. You'll put the 100 degrees inside, it'll tell you the time and temperature, and it will be perfect. There's just something about being human where we sometimes, right, we can't get it exact. We can't pinpoint it exactly. And even this, chefs, even, even chefs, chefs. Problem. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or you're distracted with this. No, remember, it's perfect every single time. And so you're looking at those cooking times. Obviously, all of that information is going to come when you're ordering this. I would love to, for you to try it. If you love to cook, um, if you're a big foodie, if you're always excited about learning and trying and experimenting with new things, um, pick up the phone and order this. It's on FlexPay. Um, this fish is so perfect. It's so pretty. And you know what? You can dial it into the temperature that you like. Like Wolfgang likes his kind of a little bit almost rare in the middle, but it is so great. You can set that temperature to exactly what you want. It's never gonna let you down. And you can walk away. You don't have oh, to yes. stand and babysit. And there's quite a long window where nothing happens. Like if, if, it's, if you forget and you wanna leave it in the water. But I think if there's another, a food that maybe would really illustrate why you would want it. It's those bites of egg that we buy at our favorite coffee shop that cost a lot. We love them so much. But this is, yeah, this is just tap water. You're not boiling it first. This little guy is gonna heat it. So it does not need to be in a pot on the stove. There's no, no stove required, although you can use a stock pot. Some people use a cooler. You could use a bucket mm -hmm. that's in your garage. There's many things that you can use for the the heating of the water. But what this guy is gonna do is it's got a little fan on it. It's going to start heating the water by circulating it. That little fan moves that water all around. That's how it keeps it at that really precise temperature. But then a whole variety of foods are yours to cook and yours to really enjoy. So if you love those egg bites that we get at the coffee shop, you can make them in a jar. If you don't wanna do that, you can make them in a bag. So this one, and you just, Throw the eggs in the in the immersion blender like I just did. Um, but you can add whatever you want. It could be all vegetables, it could be all egg white. This one I had some leftover ham, so we added them. But what's so cool is in the jar, they'll still go stay good for a couple of weeks. But if you're the kind of person that 
you don't want to have a bunch of jars. I love doing them in the little snack size zipper top bags because you can make a whole bunch of them, enough for the week, and then you've got this little egg protein loveliness of whatever you want to put in it, ready to take with you on your commute to work, pop them into your lunch, and take them with you, and there's no cleanup. So it's it's that kind of thing. If you like to meal prep like a boss and own it and do that meal prep on that day off like I do, this is one of the great ways to do it because there's so many different things that can share that um, same water bath and cook and get you ahead for your week. If you like the onsen eggs, the kind where um, you see them in the ramen shops a lot, yes. where when you crack it open, it just pops out of the shell almost like magic, and the white is very soft, but it's completely cooked, and the yolk is still almost magically um, really runny, but this is something that's so easy to do. It takes about 50 minutes, you just drop, you can drop one egg in or you can drop 50 eggs in. It doesn't matter how many. I like It'll your, heat it up. Yeah, I like your idea. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do this, why not meal prep for a couple of days, you know? Um, because the whole beauty of this is that it, they will all be perfect because you're setting that sous vide at the exact temperature, at the right timing, so that it, you get perfect results every single time. We have your choice of the black or the red. Um, on average, you can find sous vides and you can search around, but on average, they're usually a little over $100. Yes. So at this price at $65.75, um, it's half off. But this clip design is also cool. Uh, cool. I've seen ones that are a little wonky yeah. and you have to twist them and they're, yes. yeah, <laughs> they're a little, yeah, they're a little difficult. Um, and the concept of this as almost like a clip that goes it is. over. It's kind of almost spring loaded. Yeah. So it can just go over. It could go in a mixing bowl. There's many things that it can go in, but I love the smaller design because it can store in a drawer sure. as well. So if you're a gadgety kind of person like I am, it's not a difficult one to store when you're not using it, but you set the exact time time that you want to cook the food for. You set the exact temperature that you want this water to be. Remember, water is a wonderful conductor of heat. And so the food that's in the bag is cooking perfectly and it can't overcook. If something like um, vegetables like to float, so we take typically some kind of clip or clothespin or whatever to just hold them against the edge of the pot. But it's really easy to use. And if there's one true secret, I would say that I love sous vide for almost the most. It's anything in the custard family, anything in the world of desserts, any of the foods that you, um, you read the recipe and it says, be careful and don't open the oven door because it might fall or crack and you're like, oh my gosh, what does that mean? Or it says, bake it in a water bath or it's gonna curdle. All those words, that were, they're terrifying, right? <laughs> and, and it stops so many of us from cooking. But if you love creme brulee, it is the easiest thing in the world to throw together. And when you put it in the immersion circulator, it's not possible for it to turn out badly. This is a chocolate crust on the bottom and then it's peanut butter cheesecake because you and I know, you and I are the peanut butter girls, yeah, right? Do. I'll we go to the it. gym twice in yes, one day just yes. to have peanut butter. But here's what's so cool. The crust is nice, but I want you to see the texture of this because it's perfect. It can't burn, it can't get dried out. It's silky and delicious. The topping is perfect. And you make it just in a jar. You can make it, um, you can even do any kind of pan, like um, there's a lot of glass, I even saw some in the hall that we sell here. They're like glass storage containers that have a nice big rubberized yes, kind yes, of lid. Yes, it yes. doesn't have to be small. It can be nice and large. If yeah. you can fit it inside your container, you can do that. I've even done a nine by 13 pan yeah. before. But it's so lovely and it'll do things like jams oh, and jellies instead of having to cook them like yes. on top of the stove. And yogurt is something that I love to make. And many of us are making that for the first time because it's so easy, right? It's two different temperatures. You need 180 degrees to pasteurize the milk and that's just in the jar and then you drop that temperature down on the sous vide clip to 110 add the little bit of yesterday's yogurt or yogurt that you bought and poof it turns into yogurt and it'll stay for a few weeks in the fridge that's so wonderful. you can add some of the jam that you made i love that you have something that you, that maybe you don't currently own and that you can explore and experiment and perfect um if you'd like to own it remember half off it's 65.75 three credit card payments of $21.92. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, <laughs> right? Um, your item number is 606700, although this is clearance price, you still have our full return policy. And if you wanna buy this for the holidays, it's not too late. 
There is a $12 um, and $12 plus standard delivery. Um, but if you'd like to buy it, why not? You can you can certainly do that if, if you choose to. I encourage you to try it. You know, I really think you will love it. Uh, you certainly, there won't be a shortage of recipes and to try because if you go online, uh, the whole, not only Pinterest world, but the whole, you know, recipes that are out there, all sorts of great cookbooks that are out there as well. Um, I've done shrimp with these, um, with sous vide shrimp. So you, it, oh my gosh, all, yeah. all of your seafood, it comes out so perfect. I've even done chicken breast that traditionally can be very dry. You know, chicken breast. One of the nice things about sous vide is that your chicken breasts turn out so nice and moist and tender. Um, it's it's really great. If, if you're trying this, you will love it. What do you have here? So this is the best mashed potatoes. These are Joelle Robuchon's mashed potatoes. This is a chef that Wolfgang loved from um, France, and they're always done in an immersion circulator. And what's so cool is it's an easy, easy recipe, but everything is cooked in the bag. The milk, the butter, the salt, and it's the right ratio. And then to mash it, he uses a ricer, but we have the electric ricer, which is what we call it with what, the immersion, um, the, yeah, uh -huh, that we just immersion blender that we were just airing. So when you mash those, what's so cool is everything gets stirred in after you do this mashing and it, they're perfect. But this is what we love. For the holidays, mashed potatoes are probably that lo most loved side dish, right? But the stove is so full, all the burners have all the side dishes on them. And where are the mashed potatoes? If anything like that is getting cold anywhere because it's hard to have enough burners on the stove. That's why it's so perfect to have something like this because anywhere there's an outlet, this guy could have been plugged in and the potatoes can stay in the bag for hours. Unlike on the stove where once they're soft, they gotta go right now and it's kind of an emergency or else you're gonna have cold potatoes, but not anymore. They can stay in there for hours and lots of things are that way. Um, the chicken breast that we were talking about um, and this is one of those where if you struggle with your weight like I do, it's probably something you eat more than you want to. <laughs> I know I do because it's lean protein, it keeps you nice and full, but when it turns out well, I'll eat it often and not complain. And when it's not dry, it, it's, it's really um, extraordinary when you cook it this way. I tucked a couple of bay leaves in here and they perfume that whole chicken breast in the best way ever. And you know, a lot of people um, like to sear these afterwards, like they'll get out a skillet and sear it. Of course you can, but a lot of times I'm happy to eat it just like this. But that, that choice of course is yours. If it was a steak, I definitely would. Sure, Just sure. to get that nice crust on it. There's yeah. another bay leaf it's right a, there. It's the best way to cook a chicken breast, I'm telling you, <laughs> if you want you try it. And you know what I'll do sometimes? I'll just buy like a pack of organic chicken breast mm -hmm. and I'll just do different flavors. You know, I'll put a little, That's a good way to I'll do put a little it, curry in one. Cause you, I mean, they're sealed in a bag. So you put a little curry in one. I love what you've done with the basil in one. You could do a little barbecue sauce in another one. So, I mean, you, you would be really surprised and having, like you said, all of these great options at the ready makes all the difference in the world. I want to do a call out sure. um, because I know that Marion is using the clear containers. Remember, you can clip these on any pot any pot that you have at home. So it could be a four quart, a six quart, an eight quart, a 10 quart. It could be a cooler. It could be virtually anything, really. Um, anything that can hold water, you can clip this to. Um, we just use this for TV purposes so that you can actually see what it actually does. But just know that you can clip this onto any of your pots. That's so nice and healthy. Look at the color of the vegetables. Though. I know, right? And that's, that is what it does. But remember, a lot of people use a bucket that they have in their garage. Those can take, handle the heat that this would go because it is a low temperature that you're cooking at. Um, I would say that the highest temperature I know of is 194 and that's for the potatoes. But like most of the meats are about 140, 160 temperatures like that. A lot of people use a cooler because it's a nice big size if they have to cook a lot of stuff. Yes. But you you do not need to have a clear container like I have here. You do not need to have a pot. You do not need to have a stove. You're not <laughs> heating the water before you add it. The, the sous vide clip is doing the heating for you. So you're adding it to the pot. You set the temperature and the time that you want. The little um, fan turns on in the back and that's to circulate sort of like a trolling motor would, I guess, if you will. But this, the temperature is very precise. And in so much of cooking, Marlo, 
the fear is, oh my gosh, how do I know when it's done? I would say that's the question I'm asked the most too, is meat. I struggle with meat. How do I know when it's done? I'm fearful. And if that's the answer for you, if you're fearful, I think one of these is perfect because you can set the temperature, like for chicken, it's supposed to be cooked to say 165. You set that temperature, it's gonna cook it perfectly every single time. It doesn't know how to do anything else but do that. Well, buy it, get it at home, experiment, Remember, at the end of the day, if you don't absolutely love it, you're more than welcome to return it. But I think you're, you will really enjoy it. I want to take a moment to wish you happy Hanukkah if you're celebrating Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. I want to say Merry Christmas to you and your amazing family. Thank you, Marla. Thank you me so too. much for shopping with me this morning. I will be back on Tuesday as well as Wednesday, Christmas Eve. Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. If you're going to travel, be safe, and certainly enjoy the holidays, everyone. We're going to give you another look at our today's special from Professor Amos coming up next, so stay tuned for that. It's a very, very exciting vibe. Bye for now. Good night.